<clears throat> so we're discussing this, and there's Kevin Dunn, and there's Jim Ross, and there's Bruce Pritchard, and there's me, and there's Vince McMahon, and there's whoever else is in the room. I'm, I'm sure Russo's there, yes. And I said, guys, I don't understand why we're doing this, you know, in this way to the Patriot. He's going to get shit on. He's going to get beat. He's not looking good. Why the fuck are we burying this new top baby face? And then they start going to the Sable T-shirt spot, and it keeps. And I keep bringing it back because I just want somebody. A, to resolve this, and B, give me one good reason why we have to bury the fucking guy. But they keep changing fucking topics to the t-shirt spot or Sable or whatever the fuck. And so finally I said, well, I'm still wondering about the Patriot. And Kevin Dunn goes, you know, Jim, I find you tiresome. I looked at him, I said, you know what I'm tired of, motherfucker? I'm tired of them Bucky Beaver fucking teeth of yours. And I stand up and I say, and I'm going to pull you across this goddamn table, beat the fuck out of you, which, folks, I'm not Ken Shamrock. I'm not Randy the Natural Couture, but I can whip Kevin Dunn, especially in those days, because I was younger and had better knees. And I, as that happens... Everybody starts laughing the old as like the guy's gonna stand up and say something and it's a joke, right? And everybody starts laughing except for Jim Ross, who knew that I was really about to grab Kevin Dunn and pull him over the gut because I just snapped. I just snapped. I was fucking done. And Jared's like, no, no, no. I said, no, fuck this fucking shit. When you guys want to talk about some fucking wrestling, come get me. I'll be in my fucking room. And I left and goddamn went up to my fucking room and sat there for another fucking week or another day, seemed like a week, before the goddamn show. And I got out of production meetings with Kevin Dunn for three weeks because he didn't want to be in the same room with me. And then it came to Jim from Vince McMahon. You've got to apologize to Kevin Dunn. He's a very important member of the team here. His father once saved the fucking TV tapes from his burning car trunk or whatever. So Kevin's got a job for life. So Kevin Dunn comes over to Vince's house and we sit just the two of us. Vince leaves us alone in Vince's dining room. And as I'm First and only time I have ever apologized to anybody when I didn't mean it. I, but at the same time, goddamn this fucking guy he treated me like I was a guy that ran the Ferris wheel at the county fair. Ever since I'd fucking been there, the, the wrestling thing and the southern thing and the northern thing. And I was about fed up with this motherfucker. But Vince demanded it. Vince wanted me to. I work here, so I'm going to apologize to the guy. The fucking guy starts crying. But you don't understand, the kids in school, I was always teased about my, t and he started, tears, I swear to God, on my mother's grave, Kevin Dunn cried while I was apologizing to him about knocking his Bucky Beaver fucking teeth.